Okay guys, what's up? Um, CJ Gonzalez 1900 here. Uh, just want to help you guys out with some security issues um, on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, as a lot of you have probably seen if you pay attention to jailbreaking scene. Um, if you are jailbroken and you do have SSH or v VNC installed, you're going to need this. First of all, this is basically what's been happening. People, if you have SSH and you have it on all the time, um, which is really bad, you shouldn't have that ever. You should turn it off when you're not using it. Um, but if you do have it on all the time and you're and you're on an iPhone, iPod Touch not so much, but an, on an iPhone, they can actually get into your phone while you are anywhere, basically. If you're just wherever you're at, as long as you have an internet connection, they can hack into your phone if you don't change your password. So that's what this is going to be about, how to change your password. So go ahead, um, if you don't have mobile terminal on your phone, and remember this is only if you have SSH installed, so don't do this if you don't have SSH installed, you don't need to do this. So what you're going to do is go into mobile terminal, and then you'll be logged in as mobile, so you're going to log in as, as root, hit enter, ask you for your password. Now if you don't, um, if you haven't changed yours, then it's Alpine. Okay, I've already changed mine, so once you're logged in there, so all you're going to do is run P-A-S-S-W-D. It'll ask you for a new password. Just type whatever password you want. Retype new password. And there you go. Then I'll change it on mobile. That's all you're going to do. Type the same thing, but then type mobile right after it. Hit return. It'll say change your new password. Because I don't really care if you guys see what my password is, because you still need to know which phone you're hacking into. Alright, so there you've just changed the password for your root and your mobile. Now, remember, you're, you're not going to want to do this if... Let's see. You're not going to do this if you're not good at remembering passwords. Um, change the password to something you're going to remember. You can use anything, basically. Long, short... Like if you had a, your four digit pin for your, you know, for your uh, for your bank card. You could use that because no one else is going to know that really, right? Use something that's secure, all right? Now once you're done with that, um, here's another way to secure your phone. If you have VNC involved, in, installed, which is, which is basically what lets you view your iPhone screen on your MacBook, your, you know, anything really like that. You're going to go to settings. Go down to... VNC, and then just set a password. That that basically just makes every anyone type in the password whenever they want to connect to your phone or iPod. Um, that's simple as that. Or you can just turn it off when you're not using it. Either way, and that's it. So those are two steps to make your phone more secure. Um, if you need some help with this, any questions, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, message me anytime. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, thanks guys.